There's only one under major pressure tonight. Germany are without Nicholas Fulkrug and Jamal Musiala through injury. Hansi Flick didn't name Bayern's Leon Goretzka in the squad. Barcelona's Ilkay Gundogan has been appointed as their new captain, replacing Joshua Kimmich in that role, who plays at right back tonight. Nicholas Sula starts for the first time since the World Cup at centre-back. Five changes from the last international that lost to Colombia in June. And Ilkay Gundogan leading the German national side into battle for the fifth time, but the first as official captain. And having bounced back from a great controversy just a few years ago. It is a, a memorable night for him. Joao Pinheiro of Portugal is the referee. VAR is in play tonight. Only four starters remain for Japan from that famous day in the Khalifa International Stadium at the World Cup last November. Itakura, Endo, Junya Ito and Daichi Kamada. Goal scorers Ritsu Doan and Takura Asano wait on the bench. Japan have five German place players in their squad. Itakura of Borussia Mönchengladbach and Hiroki Ito of... So Germany begin tournament season. The tournament that they will host this summer is looming large on the horizon. But they need to find new impetus during this new... Raking ball for Mitoma. Overlap provided by Hiroki Ito. Tomiyasu with a decent ball there. This is Kamada. Sugawara. Oh, and dangerous and in! Junya Ito for Japan! Well, joy for Hajime Moriyasu once again. Is it going to happen again? Sugawara bursting past Lotterbeck, it might have got a touch off the defender, but Junior Ito reacted like lightning to get in front of Antonio Rudiger. May just have taken a touch off the defender. Ter Stegen beaten at his near post, yes, it certainly appears to come off Rudiger. And, well, it has been a year of woe for Germany. And it's not getting any better at the moment. Sula's touch, Kimmich. Schlotterbeck. Completely into Gundogan. This is Florian Witt. Sane is available. Leroy Sane. Well, there's a change for the better. As far as Germany are concerned, a pretty swift and very slick response. And the critics can put their knives away for a moment. Very tidy move indeed, involving Gunduan and Viet, and tucked away with a minimum of fuss by Leroy Sané with his trusty left foot. Mitoma arriving just too late to affect things. And that's more like the football they want to see. Junior Ito away from Schlotterbeck to 
turned on by Kamara Sugawara. Junior Ito! Already! By Ueda! Well, Germany's worst nightmare is back to haunt them. And I see Ueda. Steered home his second international goal and Japan's second goal of the night. Just when Germany thought they had restored order, they are quaking again, they're shaking again. It's nervous. It's anxious. And it's 2-1. Oh, and Kubo catching Gosens in possession, and he can finish it off here. Asano with him. He'll use Asano, and that is that. As he did in Qatar, Takuma Asano seals Germany's fate, and he may well have sealed Hansi Flicks in the process. But again, it was all so avoidable. Kubo robbing Gosens. There was no way anybody was going to get back. Incredibly unselfish. And Asano sticks it away. And the demons for Germany live on. But will their head coach be on this week? What well, happens every time if you're a young Japan fan? Well, they've got a big game on Tuesday against France. Asking the question whether he makes it that far. Kubo. And in dangerously. And it's another. It's another from Tanaka. I can barely believe this. And neither can Mark Andre Testeg and offered no protection. They thought the emotions and the experience in Qatar was bad. Well, this is that and double. Lovely combination by Asano and Kubo. He's able to play in a delightful cross. Tanaka's completely free, and the header just sneaks in by the post. Uproar, disbelief. But Japanese delight beyond their wildest dreams. Y así termina esta historia.